Let's cross live to Ukraine now and speak again with Ukrainian MP Halnya Yanchenko. Thanks for joining us, Halnya. Can we start in uh, Mariupol? Uh, just a terrible destruction of that city. We've seen incredible footage from what's been inflicted on the city. Is the Ukrainian government giving up on that city? Is it uh, now time to evacuate forces and people uh, uh, and to uh, before Russia just obliterates the entirety? Uh, no, of course we are not giving up uh, the Mariupol and helping both uh, civilians and military uh, guys. But you should understand that all the territory around Mariupol, like thousand kilometers around, uh, temporarily captured by Russians. So pretty much Mariupol is a spot surrounded by Russians all around. And uh, unfortunately, we can't even evacuate civilians. But uh, yes, we are getting uh, ready for a bigger confrontation and uh, um, attempt of Russians to attack even uh, further in the east of Ukraine. So now the aim of uh, Ukrainian government and Ukrainian officials is to evacuate as many civilians from eastern part of country as it is possible. We've already seen a uh, Bucha massacre, what Russian uh, terrorists are doing to civilians. Uh, they have like nothing sacred. Uh, there is nothing sacred in uh, Russian soldiers. They uh, kill civilians, they torture children, they rape children, they rape women. So we don't want the same thing to happen in the eastern cities where Russians might might attack. So we are evacuating uh, people from uh, from cities uh, in the east of Ukraine. Uh, but in the same time, we see that uh, Russians keep attacking other cities with missiles. Uh, it's the third or fourth. An attack on Lviv, which is uh, a very western part of the country. Uh, we see that uh, they are doing horrible things. They are attacking railway stations again yeah, in the you know, we've, we've in the middle of evacuation of civilians, Russians are attacking railway stations. You've probably seen what have happened. Um, two weeks ago in Kramatorsk railway station, when a huge Rus Russian missile attacked the railway station when we were evacuating women, children, and elder people from the city. Yeah, and we've, seen tonight, that, we've seen that footage of people uh, risking their lives just to evacuate, civilians trying to get out. It's been horrific. There's also been international groups going in and looking at evidence of war crimes to substantiate a lot of the claims that are being made, and that works important. But in the here and now, do you have the resources to look after the civilians evacuated from the east uh, elsewhere in Ukraine in the western relatively safe parts of the country? Uh, yes, we are doing a lot. Uh, for example, uh, I myself have started uh, an initiative called Prehistok in Ukrainian or Shelter uh, in, uh, in English. Uh, I have started this initiative the very first day of, of war. And this initiative is about people uh, letting uh, refugees in their houses. So pretty much it's free of charge shelters for uh, Ukrainian refugees all over the country, which are hosted by other Ukrainians, but also Europeans and, and people abroad. Uh, but uh, what I'm uh, trying to say is uh, now uh, nowadays it's very important to liberate uh, the cities which were uh, temporarily uh, captured by Russians because we see the atrocities uh, that are taking place there. Uh, we see that Russian soldiers don't only kill Ukrainian civilians, but also uh, torture people, torture children, uh, tie their hands and do horrible things. This is this can be uh, called uh, nothing else but genocide. And this is, uh, we, really, uh, we really need to actually liberate these uh, cities. Indeed, uh, and, you've and got a need, lot of and support. And we need more heavy weapon for that. Yeah, yeah. There these... have been those calls and there's more coming in and, 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 and from what you're saying, you need more. Do you have the military resources now to push the Russians back further to reclaim some of these cities? Is, is that doable in the short term? 
Uh, we definitely need more heavy weapon. Uh, we now receive more from uh, from our uh, Western allies, but uh, this is still not enough because uh, Russians are using all the resources they have. However, I think that we are doing uh, quite good with uh, with weapon and resources that we have. But in order to liberate uh, east and south of Ukraine, in order to liberate Mariupol and finally give a chance for, li uh, for life and for safe future uh, to those civilians who now in Mariupol, we definitely need more heavy weapon. And I'm talking about like really ser serious kind of weapon, like uh, military jets, uh, tanks, air defense, and stuff like that. We need much more. And I'm pretty uh, sure that um, Australia can help uh, more with heavy weapon as well. Just finally, uh, we've just celebrated Easter here this weekend. I un understand in the Orthodox religions it's Easter next weekend. Would Easter... Is there any sense that there'll be a ceasefire at Easter, an opportunity maybe to have serious talks about peace, or will it be more bloodshed? Uh, it's uh, difficult to assess now because, as I said, uh, they keep uh, shelling uh, Ukrainian cities, uh, not only cities in east and south, but also like all over the country. Uh, Kiev was attacked, uh, Lviv was attacked, some other cities were attacked. And uh, we see that, uh, I don't know whether Russians are religion or not, whether they believe in God. It, it seems that with uh, the atrocities they're doing in Ukraine, they believe in nothing but, but devil and, and, and Putin, which for me is pretty much the same. Uh, so, um, unfortunately, we see that the, the only way to cease a fire and to actually uh, force Russians to stop this war is to actually, uh, like, defeat them, uh, kick them out of the city with weapon and with our army. This, it seems the only, uh, like, realistic way out of the situation. Hanya, you're, thank you so much for speaking to us again. Uh, your bravery and the bravery of uh, all Ukrainians is, uh, is inspirational. We hope you get more help soon. Thanks so much for joining us. Hanya Yangchenko there. You can't believe that this is still unfolding in Europe. We can understand, maybe, if we're sensible about this, why you don't want NATO forces in the battlefield against Russia because of the potential consequences. But at the very least... The people of Ukraine need to be given all the weapons, all the supplies, all the ammunition they, de they, they desire in their efforts to expel Russia.